Hey guys, it's Jess Love Style. I was just going to pop on and show you how I made a chalafel. So I just got this waffle iron at the thrift store for like $2 or something like that. Um, I was kind of on a hunt for one, so we were there and we found one. So in my chalafel, you just need like cheese, some kind of cheese, like really thin um, cheese, but also low in carb. So I have sharp cheddar and shredded Parmesan on hand, so I'm just going to use those. And then I have pink Hel Himalayan salt, and I have like a really fine grain of that. So I'm going to use that as my salt. And then um, black pepper. And then I'm also going to do ground turmeric. So everything that you put in it is really optional, but I did it once without any flavoring. It was still really good, but I was going to try those. And then I put um, two eggs in mine, and it was a little too much. It kind of like went off the pan a little bit. So I was gonna do one full egg and a half egg, but keep in mind that I have a big waffle iron. So if you have a smaller one, um, you probably only wanna do a half egg. Um, and then if you're going to do like a sandwich portion, you have to do it multiple times to have multiple layers of your sandwich. So I'm going to put the cheese on and then I'll show you what that looks like. So here I put some cheese down on it. Um, I just did the sharp cheddar cheese for right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit more just so you guys can see it melting. I think even this way would be really good if you just threw on some like pepperoni on top of it and let it cook that way. I think that'd be really good too without even the egg. But I did mix up um, the eggs. And I didn't do a full um, second egg, but then I put all my seasonings in it. So I'm gonna just stir it up really quick and then I'll put it on top and show you what that looks like. All right, so I just dumped the egg over and you want to really make sure that it is even. And then it's covering like all the bases. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just put some of this cheese on it and then we'll close it. All right, so as you can see, I put some Parmesan on it and now I'm just gonna close it. Oh, see, I got it at the Goodwill for $3.97. So we're just going to let it cook for a little bit. And then while that's cooking, I'm actually going to finish up some dishes. And then I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. So it's really just been like a minute or two, but I want to just show you what it looks like as it's cooking. So you are supposed to use this nonstick pan or spray. I did forget to put that on the second time, but I did use it the first time. So that's what it looks like as it's cooking. I like it a little more crispy, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. So now I would say that you could say that it's done. Um, you could crisp it up a little bit more, but I'm just gonna check the bottom, um, make sure that I can actually get it out. So here even like the bottom is pretty crispy from the cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna say that it's pretty good. All right, so with a big waffle iron, I could actually just cut these into triangles and have like a little bit of sandwiches. Like you could put meat and cheese on these. Um, later, we're gonna have hamburgers on the grill, so we might use these as buns, but I also have the smart buns to try, so we'll see about that. Right now, I might eat it with some of this um, guacamole salsa and try uh, how I like that on there. This only has two grams of carbs and less than one gram of sugar, and it tastes so good. Um, even just good with like keto tacos, which can really just be a taco in a bowl without the taco, um, or the salsa variety, which is really basically the same thing. And then this one is really good with carbs too. And I don't even think I use the two tablespoons anyway. I probably use like one, but. That is what I'm going to eat it with this morning, but I definitely think we're going to make these with like pepperoni, could be really good, um, and then a little bit of do like dipping sauce, but that is my chalafel. Also, if you guys are interested in these plates, they might be on sale now at um, Big Lots. I got a bunch of them in a big bowl. They have so many different designs. I think it's gorgeous. I would love to have like a bathroom look like that, so... All right, if you guys want more keto meals, let me know because I eat keto all the time. So, and I love to cook now, which I never used to, but all right.
Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you are going to try this recipe.